hi everyone welcome back so i really wanted to share this video with you today i want to show you how i correct a nail that is really curved and what i mean by that is when, as this client's nails grow they curve downwards so the best way to fix this as you can see i'm doing here is i'm going underneath the nail and what you do is you take your file and you file the very tip of it until you no longer see that curve and i will have a side view here right away where you can see i'm doing that and it was curved down so much but by doing this it straightens and evens the nail so it doesn't look so curved because sometimes there's there's almost like a little uh, bend in the nail if you don't do this and it just doesn't look right it doesn't fill in right so I find this is the best way to do that and I'll be working on a couple more nails here to show you myself doing that and a few of her nails aren't too bad but there is a couple like this thumb was an extreme curve downwards and the only way that I can fix that is to, like I said, file the very, very front underneath until it's flush with the rest of the nail underneath. And again, I'll show you the side view of me doing this. And also this client has extreme C curve in her nail. So what I mean by this as I'm filing the top of her nail, I have to be really careful not to file too much, meaning to her natural nail. Her nail gives the illusion that there's a lot of product there, but that's how extreme her C-curve is. So I, like I said, I'm careful with that when I'm checking for lifting and removing the color. And her nails are probably, I would say, the hardest um, nails I have of all my clients because she does have that arch in her nails that big c curve and yeah in general they're a little more work to try and make them look like everybody else's so i'm just going to finish by using my coarse ceramic bit to remove the color and check for lifting and just to uh, do a little bit of shaping with the nail and then i'll be grabbing my round cuticle bit to do her cuticles
showing what I'll be using on my clients. Some transfer foil from AliExpress, Daily Charm, some fine glitter, and one of their polishes called Pointy Zero, along with one of their Stardust called Topaz. I know you guys really wanted to see these products being used, so I wanted to make sure and use some in this video. You can see that card in the top right-hand corner of the video I did on all the Daily Charm products. I received the big haul, and so I just sprayed her nails with some nail prep, removed the oils and dust now i'm just using my young nails protein bond on the natural nail by the cuticle and once that dries this client i use acrylic on so i'll be applying some clear acrylic to her nails before applying daily charm gel polish their loose glitter and also that transfer foil in the leopard print so i'll just let you guys watch me apply it then i'll be filing and buffing and then you'll see me get started on the color and the art i'll be doing
Remove the dust off her nails with some isopropyl alcohol. Now, the gel polish I'll be using from Daily Charm is called Pointy Shoes. It's number 202. I love this neutral color. I'll show you it here right away. It's so nice. So I'll be applying that to, I think, uh, maybe three of her nails. And I will do only two coats. It's amazing coverage, very opaque. So I'll cure each layer for 30 seconds, of course, first. So I have a coupon code for Daily Charm. It's a 10% off code. It's Ardell's Nails. You can see it up on the screen. It'll be down in the description. Make sure you use that if you purchase anything from Daily Charm to get 10% off.
So I'm also going to be applying that loose glitter to one of the other fingers. So same process, apply the top coat, don't cure it. And then I sprinkle the glitter all over the nail and tap off any extra glitter. And you'll also see me pushing down the glitter with my finger just to make sure there's no rough bumpy spots that won't cover up very well after it's cured so and I just want to make sure I don't change the shape of the nail so you'll see me smoothing the edges as well it works really good and then I'm going to take a brush and make sure I remove anything extra on there that isn't cured and I'm just taking a thinner top coat at first to cover up the glitter this top coat I use for any loose glitter because I will contaminate my good top coat if I use that on the powders or the glue glitters. So I just use an older top coat that's just for this purpose and I'll cure that for 60 seconds. Now you'll see me using a thicker top coat over these nails and I should have used my Daily Charm 5-in-1 and that is perfect for covering up this glitter with. I completely forgot to grab it but I would definitely have used this. It would stop you from feeling that glitter. video was helpful in showing you guys how to correct a really extreme curve on a nail and i hope you enjoyed watching me do the design they turned out so pretty love the daily charm products remember to use my coupon code to get 10 percent off and i want to thank everybody for watching my videos all the time i really appreciate that and if you could please like and subscribe that'd be great thanks so much and we'll see you next time bye